Another southern state which is Karnataka. Now we are learning that BJP leadership has been able to convince Sumalatha Ambarish that she will be accommodated in some capacity if the party cannot give her a Lok Sabha seat. Now Sumalatha was the sitting MP from Mandya which has now gone to JDS. This is the word, another crucial word as far as the situation of BJP in the state of Karnataka is concerned. Payal continues to stay with us on the broadcast. Payal, could you please put uh, that into perspective for our viewers? Well, Sumanatha Amlish was there in the national capital. We are given to understand she had a meeting with uh, the BJP Tobras, including that of JP Nadda and Amit Shah, and she's probably gone ahead and presented her case. Sumanatha Amlish proved, uh, proved to be a friend of the BJP in the last Lok Sabha election when she won that Mandya seat. Of course, with the support of uh, BJP, she came. She was more or less seen on uh, on BJP side, even though she was an independent MP. But this seat has now gone to the JDS because the BJP has agreed uh, to have an alliance with JDS. So JDS. Uh, has uh, asked for the seat and because this is the Mandya is their bastion as well. But you know what would have happened to Somalata Amrish? Some quarters in the state had also said that she could probably be accommodated by Chik in Chikbalapur, given the fact that that is also a seat where her caste is extremely prominent. But what we are now given to understand that probably the indication from the center has been that you know, Chikbalapur cannot be given to her. And there were also reports that Chikbalapur could be given to Dv Sadhanand Gowda, the former union minister. That is also something which our sources have said is not happening. So former minister in the state, uh, you know. Uh, uh, is being given that uh, seat is what we are given to understand. D. Sudhakar is being given that uh, seat is what I am given to understand from my sources. Uh -huh. And uh, since uh, Sumana Tamrish has been a friend of the BJP, they will probably accommodate her in some capacity, make her the chairman of some commission, etc. is what I am given to understand. So we will have to just wait and see for the official confirmation because the, uh, the core group meeting of uh, Karnataka also took place yesterday. So we'll have to just wait and see what really happens from here on because Karnataka also the remaining seats should be out because the BJP has already declared 20 and you have a total of 28 seats over there. Three have gone to the JDS. We'll have to just see what the future of the remaining five seats including, including Jigbalapur is. Definitely, Payal. Thank you so much for putting all that into perspective, especially the situation of BJP in both the states of Tamil Nadu as well as in Karnataka at the moment when they are trying to make inroads in the South India, right?